Pisces, hello and welcome to your reading for the week of September 8th through to the 14th. You magical beings, you have Neptune and Saturn retrograde whoop, whoop, in your house. <laughs> I love you guys so much. So part of me wants to point out the fact that the sun is in your opposite sign. So it's shining a light on maybe the parts of yourself and relationships that you tend to not see. Maybe the parts of yourself and relationships that you tend to avoid. And you are learning to balance that out with being an authority of who you are, of allowing for your highest vibrations to become something that you do. It's not just a part of what you think about or maybe what's associated with you, but it's actually something that you put into a practical outlook and application. Oh, we got the pink dolphin. This is my favorite card. It's just so much beauty and joy and just this sense of celebration that feels really lovely. It feels really admirable because who's going to celebrate us if we don't celebrate ourselves first and foremost second and foremost what we think about we attract so if you are constantly thinking about pink dolphins and joy you're probably going to see a lot of dolphins you will probably surround yourself with people who have funny laughs and you will find yourself often thinking about the ocean so it's important to consider how you're structuring your thoughts how you're structuring your beliefs how often do you allow for yourself to get to the ocean? Where do you like to be in the world? Because I sense that that's manifesting for you. We have the chariot, go Pisces, go. Yes, you guys are getting out into the world and it feels like you might have a home in mind, a new home on the horizon. Maybe you guys are wanting to link up with a knight of king of air good i was like if that's a knight of air i'm gonna be so shady and disappointed in pisces that's a king of air i was like knight not my pisces but anyways um we have the three of air which indicates that you guys are healing maybe from a previous time where you weren't feeling so joyful where you were not thinking about the things that bring you joy you were actually really heavily processing what brought you down and i sense that the sun in virgo is allowing for there to be a way out Mercury will re-enter Virgo after we've done all this work on our heart. And with Mars in your fifth house, you guys might find that you meet someone who is this king of air and you've done the healing. So you're able to step into a new chapter of your life, a new level of joy, a new space that you've held out. You've held it for yourself. You've held it down. And now someone's going to see what you can do and multiply that by a thousand. I hope you guys can hear the lime mowers. Of course, it's a beautiful Friday here on Maui and the gardening people are out and about working hard. We go from the three there to the four of air. So it feels like there is forward movement and it says time to rest or take a vacation. So maybe you meet someone on vacation. I know a special Pisces who is traveling the world right now looking for her king and maybe you will meet your king in the course of this week if you are willing to step into it on friday the 13th we have pluto crossing over capricorn and for you guys the moon i'm sorry the moon crossing over pluto in capricorn and that is your 11th house so you may well meet your destined mate you have planted seeds very well so i have a feeling you all will you see how i'm acting with you all i love you guys so much I have a feeling that you all will come across someone who's very special to you in the course of this week and that your seats have been well planted. You've taken the steps to manifest more joy, more delight in your life, and it's coming in return, returned in full. I want to look around the chart quite a bit more. Um, in your sixth house of daily life, we have Mercury at present in Leo and before it enters in back into Virgo where it um, had stationed retrograde at four degrees where we were figuring out where we belong with our thoughts now we know that our heart needs to be communicated we need to find new ways you guys might have started writing about your heart and your daily life you might have some sort of way of documenting your daily life through a blog a blog maybe you play music and you have a new you've set yourself up to challenge yourself and take things further than ever with a song a day challenge if not maybe that's something that you could do you got two goddesses Ooh, gaia and shakti pisces wow 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 gaia is a 16 net seven and at the time I'm reading this, the time it'll go live, which is tomorrow, the sun will be at 15 degrees Virgo. So come Sunday the 8th, 
I sense that there's going to be a very powerful, musical, monumental, gorgeous step forward into this transformation that Shakti is offering. Let's read both messages. I love this energy, Pisces. You guys are really, I sense, starting to see the benefits of the trusting yourself when others might have doubted you, of standing up for your heart when other people wanted you to shut it down, and you are growing and glowing up, baby. Gaia, which is Earth. Empowerment message. Being grounded, slowing down, and remaining present in your body even during times where you're traveling, even when you're upset, even when you feel challenged. It's the message the Greek goddess Gaia has for you right now. Perhaps you've spent too much time in your head lately and have not taken as good a care of yourself as you would have liked. Get into a rhythm. Sixth house has to be your favorite thing every day. Make sure you get enough sleep. And that's also what Virgo is speaking to is how diligent are you in relationships? Like, do you tend to lose yourself in relationships? If so, this is the calling it back so that you can end up in a better place. Once you find the love of your life, you won't, you won't have that same um, story resurface to make sure that you're in integrity because you're, you're now becoming an authority of who you are. And Saturn is at 16 degrees right now in your sign. So there will be an opposition of the sun and Saturn. It's already in opposition now, but it'll be direct. And this will help you guys intuitively with this Shakti energy transform. Okay, eat sustainably with conscious awareness. Gaia, the earth, mother of all life, invites you to pay attention to your body for you are a creature of the earth as well as spirit. You are a part of this living earth, which is the foundation for all of life that has a physical form what form does your life take? This is the perfect time you, to take a closer look to ensure you're happy with it. You're also asked to determine the foundation of what you are building now. Does it feel solid and stable? Now is the perfect time to focus on stability and security, ensuring you move forward in a grounded way. The goddess Gaia reminds you that the earth is the playground for conscious manifestation, so be respectful of this truth. The alignment message for Gaia is when you scatter your energy and allow for fear to take root, false evidence appearing real, you can become ungrounded or out of touch with your environment. You become disconnected. I almost read that as you became. So this is speaking to past tense and now you are in empowerment position and empowered posture. You become disconnected from your true nature as a spiritual being having a human experience. The need now is to look at the cracks in the foundation of the life you've built. When even one aspect of your life is out of alignment and affects everything else. Ground yourself with Gaia, the Earth Mother. She wants you to enjoy creating the world you live in. Your alignment task is to take fearless inventory. And this is where the Seven of Earth comes in. So this is your checklist to see if you've planted your seeds well and can expect a delightful harvest. A tasty harvest by the end of the week with the date, perhaps. Um, your alignment task is to take a fearless inventory of where, how, and with whom you live your life. Is your energy draining from the choices you are making? Are you physically exhausted? Do you accept less than your value? That was only six questions, but that seventh is maybe do you love yourself after all that you've been through? Have you healed? Those are important things to know, not for me to judge you, not for you to judge yourself, but for you to make sure that you are doing everything you can to ensure that you are empowered. You will be so thrilled with the results and wonder why you didn't do it sooner. The goddess guy is supporting you with your every move. How beautiful. Towards that beautiful transcendent joy. All right, Shakti, transformation. <clears throat> the empowerment message wonderful change is afoot in your life when the hindu goddess shakti comes to support you all your longing desire and focus on something better in your life coupled with your willingness to do the work has ignited the life force energy of the great goddess she responds now to bring you your heart's desire <laughs> Know that now is the perfect time to move into the highest version of yourself. 
Are you ready for this change you so badly wanted? Everything depends on how honest and clear you have been and how willing you are now to explore other ways of being authentic in the world. You have the magical feminine divine energy of the creator goddess Shakti to help you win. You become open to doing things differently. Wow, Neptune is making me sleepy, y'all. You are stepping into your destiny. Do so wisely and without guile. I guess that means delay. And you will be amazed at the way your world awakens with breathtaking beauty. And the alignment message. Sometimes people and situations come into your life as the kind of change agents that turn your life upside down. What you thought was real and expected is challenged by someone else's perspective or behavior, which you have no control over. This can be painful and deeply confusing, but the creator goddess Shakti wants to offer you her guidance. Can you see how everything that is off balance is serving you now, helping to open old wounds so they can finally heal? You know you are seeking this change, this magical metamorphosis for a better life for you and your loved ones. Right now, your alignment task is to love that part of yourself that sabotages your efforts to move forward. Love the insecure you, the one that is jealous or has been, the one that sees not enough when the world is truly full of potential. Life loves you, the feminine aspect of the universe, the great goddess herself, all your angels and your guides and helpers remind you that you came here as a spiritual being learning to co-create this world anew. Pisces, I'm so happy for you guys. I want you all to embrace every moment of this glow up and to trust in the changes that you are making to transform yourself, to transform your life, to call in your destiny and your blessings because you of all people deserve them. Have an amazing week. Join me in the 10 day miracle manifestation course. You guys don't need it. But if you want to, I have it here. It's a timeless journey. I feel like I have to laugh so much. You guys are just giving me such vibrant, bubbly energy. Just cherish every moment of this time and this transition. And until next time, aloha.